Hello everyone. Uh, I'm passionate about campus recruitment and one question that I constantly get asked is to how to make a good enough resume for a fresher. To begin with, let me tell you that your resume is like your Facebook profile. Whenever you meet a new person or make a new friend, you do send a Facebook request, isn't it? And you tend to understand a lot about that person from the Facebook profile. In a campus recruitment scenario, a resume is just like your Facebook profile. That is the only document which helps an interviewer know what kind of a person you are. That is why you should spend considerable time and energy in designing a good enough resume. Let's begin with the header. The header must have your name and your contact details like this. Ensure that whenever whichever email ID you are mentioning, it should be something appropriate for a recruitment process. Please stay away from childish and immature and flashy email IDs. Please have a mobile phone number and that phone should be reachable. No one is going to ping you on a WhatsApp number looking for uh, interviews. So kindly ensure that your mobile phone is reachable. Next up is your personal brief. A personal brief need to be very short and crisp. You may talk about what kind of person you are, what interests you and what intrigues you. If you think that there are some professional skills or awards that you have which is worthy of mention, please include a one line along with your personal brief. Please do not copy paste your personal brief from your friends. If at all you are doing a control C control V, please ensure that you know what you are copy pasting. The most awkward situation in an interview will be when you are asked your personal brief right at the beginning and then you fumble. You wouldn't want to be in a position like that. Next up, whether we like it or not, is the academic profile. Usually, this is how the academic profile is represented in a tabular format, beginning with the name of your college, your qualification, university or board, marks in percentage, and the year in which you completed the course. Please ensure that this is in reverse chronological order, which means that your degree will come first, then your 12 standard details, and then your 10 standard details. Next up is your areas of interest. Areas of interest can be two or three subjects or topics which you are confident about. If any question is asked to you in this area or subject, you should be able to answer them. So ensure that you list down only those topics or subjects which you are really confident about. Up next, you may talk about your educational achievements. These are broadly the topics that are covered under educational achievements certifications that you might, you might have done, online courses that you might have undertaken, some projects, small and large, and any app if you have developed. Pointers to note are that, one, it has to be in reverse chronological order. The latest project that you undertook should come up first. And also, you should provide a time frame of occurrence. So if you completed a project in let's say 2016 please mention that in the bracket because giving a time frame to an achievement adds credibility next up is co-curricular achievements anything done outside of classroom including and not completed by this list be it art fest sports fest technical fest motor shows seminars paper presentations symposiums anything that you have done participated or led you may mention here please segregate your achievements into bands if you have won a couple of first prizes some second prizes and a handful of consolation prizes please group them together S or group of first prizes together the group of second prizes together etc this is for the ease of reference of the person who is interviewing you you may talk about your passion interests hobby up next while you do that, please use positive action words and give a one-line description if possible. For example, if you are a musician, you can mention a passionate musician and give followed by a one-line which says, 
have learned music for seven years. You need to talk about your strengths and weaknesses in your resume. It can be a minimum of one strength and one weakness and a maximum of three strengths and three weaknesses. Whatever your strengths are, you need to justify why you think that quality is your strength using an example or an instance during your interview. Whatever your weakness is, please mention how you are planning to overcome that weakness. In your personal profile, please include your date of birth. This is important because many organizations use date of birth as a key field while maintaining your database. You may list down the languages that you know based on the competency, the languages that you know to read, write and converse. You also need to mention your full address with the PIN code so that if a selection happens, the organization can send across the documents to that mailing address. Kindly list down two references so that if the organization needs to do a background check, those two people can be reached out. Please provide their mail ID and telephone number. Towards the end of your resume, if it is in, in an online format, please mention your LinkedIn profile so that the recruiter can go to your LinkedIn profile and find out more details about you. So in a nutshell, that is how a general resume can be built. Of course, you can apply your creativity and your time and effort to this to make it more appealing. If you found the video to be useful, please share it with your friends. Also, kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel Pink Lungi using that round logo that is appearing here. You may also search for the channel by using the hashtag Pink Lungi. Until we meet next time, Alvida. Thank you so much.